Hello guys and welcome to a new Still Division 2 video with myself and Attack Power. Woo! Strike Team Coolness! <laughs> we are here to have a chat about the latest DLC, the tribute to Norm D44. I'm going to be playing with the 716th, Attack Power is playing with the 1st. And yeah, we're going to talk about the divisions we're playing, talk about all the stuff that we've seen, and basically what we think. So... Yeah. I am so excited. Sorry, I just had to get that out there. <laughs> I'm going to be pushing my Kanalvaka out. I hope you're ready for those. I, I don't think you're going to be so excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, your recon tab is just as bad as mine. Is, though. Why do I even have an anti-tank tab? I just realized this. Like, why do I even have one? <laughs> should have just like, completely scrapped it for this fight. So what do you think about the first, then? I, I like this. I actually think this division really impresses me from a balance point that they took a division that normally would be totally broken on the concept of having super powerful infantry all vetted up and really like like locked them up so hard that they don't actually feel I don't even want to say don't actually feel that good, but do not feel overwhelming in any way whatsoever. Now, this is my first time trying, so I could be totally wrong, but I really don't get a sense that these guys are like unstoppable at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I think the phase locking in that uh, <laughs> deck is just so egregious. It's horrible. It, it's it's building it was very um, different. Let's say challenging. <laughs> Let's say building it was very challenging. Mm, yeah, but like I say, it does it does definitely help with the balance of what would otherwise be like strong units, for sure. Yeah, I I actually think this is a nice. You know, we, we all know what happened with Men of Steel. We all we all know that that experience has not been a pleasant one for the last few months with that with with those divisions. And it's nice to see that Eugen has potentially recognized a mistake and are trying to prevent that mistake from occurring a second time. Yeah, that was like massive, massive um, power creep in that DLC. Yeah, and and the problem is even with the nerfs coming to the Men of Steel divisions, it. it the power creep is still there, right? They've already kind of... Eugen has already sort of broken the game a little bit. Like, in a more... In, like, a permanent way. It's kind of broken because of that whole... I, I would honestly say specifically because of Men of Steel. Because the game was in a very nice place balance-wise when you think about it before Men of Steel. And then that comes out and, like, everything just feels busted from that point forward. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, for a crappy unit to be good, it has to be 15 points or less, right? You know, like, all of a sudden now we're, in, we're kind of boxed into this whole if infantry don't cost 15 points, they better absolutely wreck everything they see. Otherwise, don't even play them. It, it's, it's like a weird spot we're in. And not a good weird. It's not, it's not a good weird. <laughs> well, let's focus on the positive future. <laughs> we see oh, no, I'm... I'm optimist. Sorry, that is not actually meant to be a hate. Like, I, I, I actually really am looking forward to this DLC. I, yeah. I really do think it is a, a much better balanced one than the last one, and I think it has some cool stuff in it. Now, me personally, I wasn't a huge Normandy 44 guy. I know you played a good bit of it, so I know yeah. there's a lot of people really excited for this. Uh, and I do. I think this is going to be a really fun DLC to play. Yeah, when I first looked at it, I actually wasn't the beacon of positivity that I usually am, surprisingly. See, this now was, you're making me be the beacon. This <laughs> was the first DLC that I looked at and was not excited about. What, like, I was excited about it, the Ooh. premise of it, like the premise of all of the Normandy 44 divisions coming into the game, but when I actually did the previews, I wasn't excited about it. Um, so what, what What's going wrong for you in this? Well... Oh, let's start off with the, the good stuff. Like, I think some of the Axis divisions are really cool. Like, um, like the SS division, uh, the first SS is nice. You know, they they got that drip. Um, you got like um, second Panzer with like the cool elite units. Fifth oh, yeah, Panzer yeah. going ham, um, and then yeah, just I think sixteenth Luftwaffe really like unique and cool division. There's a, there's a lot of awesome stuff on like the Axis size. The Allied side, like DBSAS, is also really cool. Like, there's a lot of divisions that are good, but then there's too many divisions that weren't. Like, 716th, 91st, 4th Canadian, I think, could have been better. I think 7th could have been better, like the Desert Rats. Um, yeah, I think there's, there's a lot of divisions where I feel like they could have had a bit more personality. 
a bit more like flavor to them like with the guards armored for example it's kind of like an armored division which is going to have to crutch on artillery and i feel like that's fine but it's relying on like tube infantry artillery right so it's kind of weird in the way that it works whereas if it was just like sextons and like mechanized artillery i think it would have been a much cooler division um and then same with like seventh i think they kind of held back on doing the battle weary and stuff so yeah are you uh ready to go almost getting out the last season. again the phase locking like the phase locking is so weird i don't even know I, I keep going to click on certain units i'm like oh those aren't there till b phase oh i don't have mgs till b phase <laughs> i'm just like what i have no mgs what what do i buy <laughs> yeah, i think the phase so locking is uh it's interesting it for Star division 2 it's very interesting because it's not something that is too commonplace it's something that was actually in the game quite a lot originally i feel and then they kind of stopped doing it because I don't think people liked Do it very think? much. I feel yeah. like phase locking really came in in the middle of the game cycle, and there was a lot of it then. Like yeah, I feel I'm like the early think. divisions didn't. The early divisions didn't really have much phase locking. You called your units in when you wanted to. Mm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I just feel like it was so it was so long ago now. That, but yeah, there was like a DLC where they started sort of messing around with it again, wasn't there? Yeah, I think it was the mid, because I, I feel like they hit the middle of the game cycle, and it was kind of like, we need something fresh here, we need something new, and they started doing the whole phase cycle thing, and it was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, I see what you're doing here. I see, yeah, I don't think it was early game. I don't really think they had it then. Uh, of course, I have this awkward number of points where I want something, but I don't have enough points to get the thing I want. Son of a gun. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me, game? Why you gotta do this to me? All right, sure, what the heck. But yeah, I... Uh, I mean, again, I didn't play Normandy 44 much, so I don't have the complaints. I'm good to go. I don't have the complaints of like, oh, this doesn't feel like Normandy 44, or oh, this is, you know, this is not this, that, or the other thing. I will say the Commonwealth divisions feel very underwhelming to me um, from a, uh, like, interest interestingness perspective. Mm -hmm. Like, 4th Canadian just feels like a, a bad combination of an American division and a standard Commonwealth division. Um, Desert Rats has some interesting concepts to it, but even just like looking at it and building the deck, it, it doesn't actually feel different. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel that different to me. Yeah. Um, Guards Armored literally is not different at all. That's, that just feels like a copy and paste of Commonwealth divisions all around. Um, so yeah, those, the Commonwealth, and I'm not a big Commonwealth guy myself, like just in a general sense, but really this, this DLC, like they just don't feel exciting to me at all. Um, you know, and then, yeah, the French division seems cool. I hope it's not busted. You know, you didn't, uh, as Steel Division 2 is a game made in France. You know how it works. Um, yeah, but uh, that's cool. The big red one, this one seems cool to me. Like it's different. It's, it's neat. Um, I'm trying to think what other divisions are there. I'm blanking. Help me Vulcan. The one thing I would say about Desert Rats is I really wish they kind of went a bit more all in with the uh, idea of the Battle Weary trait. And they had like more units that were kind of like unique and made use of the trait. And then have like the fresh units. Because the idea of the Desert Rats is that historically, you know, they've come over from Africa, they still have all of the experience from Africa. And uh, then they got reinforced with like new troops, basically. Um, yeah. So they've got the Battle Weary troops, but there's no real like representation of the like fresh troops particularly like in the infantry for example although i think it was mainly tanks that they were replaced but regardless they could have very much had like units of tanks that were basically uh battle wary i think that would have been like a cool thing to do and then have like a card of cromwells that was not battle wary for example i think that oh yeah yeah that'd be nice cool just oh, sort of do it <laughs> goodbye dd you booger. The new Model I'm 1. <laughs> Which is just, you know, a reskin of the regular Model 1. <laughs> We're being honest with ourselves. Is it? Is it Model 1 already it, in the game? Oh, yeah. Mar not this Martyr 1, but the Martyr 1 is all over the place, yeah. I'm pretty it's not sure really it looks different. Unit. It looks different, yeah, but in terms of, like, is it a unique unit? No. <laughs> it just... I mean, it's a new unit. <laughs> I mean, yes, but it's, just, it's a Martyr want? 1. It's, it's just a different armor of a Martyr 1. Like, it's not... <laughs> now, I will say, I am already... I played a game of Protoss, and I am loving the fallback thing. 
I love the fact while units are running away, they actually still take uh, damage. Yeah, now. we should definitely touch on uh, like some of the balance changes and stuff. Yeah, so that's that's definitely the biggest one. Without a doubt, in my mind, is the fallback nerf. That affects the most units in the game, and the most everything in the game is you no longer, you know, you you no longer get the bonus of the fallback anymore. So so you get some. I, I shouldn't say that. It's been reduced. Um, so now it is. Uh, what's the number? Oh crap. That's not good. How do you do that? Stop doing that. I don't approve. Um, what is it? It was 75% and now it's gone down to 50%. But in practice, that actually ends up being twice as much damage you're taking. Uh, and you for your units. Out. Yeah, so it doesn't sound like much, but when you actually do the math, it's actually twice as much damage now that units take while falling back. Yeah. Yeah, the fallback changes are, are crazy. So, basically, for anyone who's wondering, uh, they increased or decreased the defensive uh, modifier from seventy-five or seventy percent to seventy or to fifty percent. So you only, you only take fifty percent less damage rather than seventy-five percent. Yeah, and that's that's huge. I think that's long overdue and a really a, a change I personally am really looking forward to exploring more. Um, it already feels way better in game right now. Uh, when you see units like falling back but they're still actually taking damage it's really nice to see yeah now i will say i don't know if the change is enough to truly change the way you play the game like like let's be real you still always press fall back the second your troop gets pinned down. oh yeah 100 percent. like that hasn't changed in any way whatsoever um so that's one thing that we haven't gone far enough in that respect i don't think to make it wow does that does that HE gun fire on the move? I did not mean? realize that. The HE rocket gun that my assault dudes use, does that oh, fire yeah. on the move? Oh, yeah. The rocket, the rocket gun's pretty good. Well, yeah, I, I say I it's not pretty good. It doesn't actually do that much damage. I mean, it does a good bit of suppression, especially against, of course, uh, uh, disheartened troops. Will you stop it? <laughs> How about you Getting stop fired? it? Stop it. <laughs> annoying me now. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm gonna like literally try out, dude. I have like such a bad nah, deck. You're probably gonna beat me. <laughs> Just because. Because I'm too busy talking and not paying attention to the game. I, I think I have that advantage on you. I, 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 I I this is, this is why I told you it was basically gonna be like a podcast while we were playing. This the game was. Ah, oh, I see. I see what then you did. Then I actually I can use my skill to, as Very a commentator clever. to get over your skill as a player of the game. Yes, now I understand. Tactical. Too smart for me, what can I say? <laughs> I'm fine talking while I play, but I'm not as fine talking about something else while I play the game. <laughs> yeah, like talking about a different subject to what you're actually Yes, yeah, this this is yeah, this is not I'm used to talking, but not used to talking like this. Uh what am I doing here? I I just don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> just cut it out. So what's your favorite division? Do you think from this um, DLC? I, I mean, I haven't gotten to try them all yet, so I'm not 100. But first, I mean, first Panzer's pretty cool, and and everyone Based on your first I like look. playing. Uh, first look. <sighs> what do you think you'll like the most? Well, let's go with that. I think I'll end up liking Second Panzer the most. I mean, it, it's disgusting not to get excited about having infinite veterancy. Like when you look at that deck built. It looks so sexy. Like it's there's so much veterancy on it. Like it's just like everything yeah, has veterancy. It it's just like good. oh, yeah. It, it just looks so good on the page. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that division will be fun to play. Do I think that division's actually broken? Like everyone auto thinks it is. I actually am not a hundred percent convinced of that at this point. I'll be honest. Um, I know people are gonna immediately be like, "What are you talking about? It's ridiculous." I. Yes, it's very good. But it's still a Panzer Division, and I don't know. It's it's still a Panzer Division. That like that's what it is at its core. Yes, it has more veterancy, but is that good enough to be good? I'm not 100 percent sure it is. Yeah, we were talking about before about how the changes to the better or to the fullback is going to make 20 miles really good, and that's the division that has a lot of 20 miles. Um, do you think that's going to be like a big problem? Also, these A20s are really strong. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I did realize that, but unfortunately not strong enough, apparently. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I take that back. They were really strong the first time I did that, but <laughs> yeah, it looked like not the second time. Maybe because they were on the move this time. 
that shouldn't change the targeting that much. Mm -hmm. I? Oh, I wish my assault buster hadn't started firing. That's really unfortunate. But... I'm going to be uh, honest. Oh God, say of that course, I've been the out shot of for like immediately. I didn't appreciate how the cheap infantry would like <laughs> really screw me over because <laughs> it's like I don't yes. have. Assault busters were wrecking. They were busting. I don't have enough infantry. Yeah, this phase hogging really does suck. Like, I, I just, I just really struggling to have the tools right now. <laughs> yeah. Did I lose I something in a transport? Is that what you're laughing at? My I no, I don't know. It's just. Well, kind of. I don't know. It wasn't a transport though. Alright, that's nice for once. I think my favorite division will probably just be like. end up being one of the crap ones because I'll have to play it so much. Because <laughs> everyone asks you to play it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really hope that like. 716th can win, win back my heart because it's it was one of my favorite divisions instead of Division number 44. Oh, what is that bull? <laughs> Get out of here. Ugh, enough. Enough of you. <laughs> you like in the fuck wolves, are you? No, good lord. Cut it out. This is the surgeon actually gets quite a lot of fuck wolves early on. Am I not abusing you on like armor power on me? Thank you. No, I, I would like to. Cause that's about all I got here. Because my infantry cannot stand up to yours in A phase at all. Well, my Brigand infantry cut it out. can't stand up to. Any your real tanks. infantry? No. <laughs> <laughs> your, your tanks. <laughs> yeah, your medium oh, light tanks are too much for me. Leave me alone. Oh my god, do I finally have like a real piece of anything? Uh, I'm not sure like this gets better for me in phase B, even though I have Maverick, which is really sad. Alright, time for some real infantry now. Hoorah! I'm so excited. Yeah. My grins are on their way. The 15W grins. <laughs> oh. Those are so bad. Yeah, people are going to be crying at me in the comments to buy AA and it's just so inefficient for me to buy AA against those. I think these have medium zones, or is it very good? I forget which one did. Oh, Stonewallers, what in the heck are you doing? I think as long as I keep buying trips, I might have a chance. Yeah, you just have to have like an infinite, infinite but swarm of these dudes. Just a swarm, yeah. I would agree. That's probably your best strategy. Just never stop deploying troops. The second you stop, you die. <laughs> yep. Yep. You stop, you die. It's a fancy. <laughs> I think so far though, like it hasn't. Well, I mean, I think this has felt almost exactly as I thought it would. Like, the difficulty this division seems to have, for the most part, is just its inability to deal with lots of light armor, which is kind of meta right now, I would say. Well, yeah, the problem is that light armor falls in this weird spot where you can get a 40-point tank that costs as much as an infantry squad, and it can do so much more than an infantry squad in most situations. No. Oh, oh, hey, no, 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 I, I don't care for that. Please stop. My I prefer was like cease. randomly turning in a different <laughs> yeah, it, direction. Yeah, anyway. you cease the action in which you are taking right now. Thanks. Look 
Look at those flak tripping go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the whole no AT on my infantry is unpleasant again. I always forget that about American divisions pretty easily. They just, you don't have. I mean, when I APCI your radio mortar, Ugh. instead of just shooting it in the face like I should have. Oh, why are you stopping to shoot at the M1? Good See. lord. <laughs> it should have been dead. Freaking no. 50 cal. No. No, 40 mil, go. That's what you get. Bad, bad at the game. Turn off APCR, noob. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> noob, turn off APCR. <laughs> So washed. But anyway, yeah, I, I think Second Panzer will obviously be one of the better divisions in the in in this DLC. No question. I don't think anyone's questioning that fact. I think First Panzer is very solid. I do think this uh, Bro division is fun. The way like playing it right now, it feels fun. I don't I don't feel bad right now playing this. Like oh god, I don't have this tool or you know this is awful or so etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Can't say that this. Division's putting the most pressure on you. Though. No, seven sixteenth is, is not good. I think we can all agree on that. Um, I think you just have to accept that is what it is. Um, so yeah, I actually think ninth Panzer looks pretty good too, on paper at least. I haven't gotten to play with it yet, but it does seem interesting. Yep. Um, so I, I actually think all three Panzer divisions seem really playable. Um, the Petty division seems neat. At least has flavor. I will give it that for sure. Um, do I think it's going to be super good? Probably not. I think it'll be solid. I think it will be playable, but I don't think it'll be crazy good busted or anything like that. Um, 7 16th will be kind of a meme fun division, I think, overall. Uh, is that all the access divisions? Did I get them all? <laughs> I wasn't keeping track. But, um,. Yeah, I think so. the Gross Paddy is actually kind of an interesting division. I think for, for team games, that's going to be a really fun one. Just because of the uh, the bomber spam, especially late game. Like, that's going to be really cool. That's, that's, that's kind of kept the same sort of flavor from Normandy 44, for sure. It's one of well, the that's cool, yeah. Because again, I, I, don't, I don't really know well in terms of that respect because I didn't play it. Um, and, and truthfully for me, we were talking about it, Like, I'm... I'm not a huge flavor guy. I don't actually care that much if the division is quote unquote flavorful. Yeah. I want the divisions to be playable and fun to play. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be fun to play because it has weird units or something. I just want it to be able to win a game. <laughs> like, and, and, I'm, and I'm not saying OP. I'm just saying capable of actually winning games. Um, see, like for me, 7 16th is not terribly fun because I just feel like you're making your life a struggle boat by playing it. It's half the fun. I, I again and for different people I get it. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying it can't be a fun division. It's I just know for me personally I won't enjoy playing that division. Well, that's why I'm playing it today and not you. But you know, there's that, and then I'm very underwhelmed by the Commonwealth divisions. Um, I think they're pretty bad overall. Okay, well, yeah. I, okay, what, bad, what's, your, what's your what's the least favorite? Uh, the uh, the awesome. Yeah, for me, the Commonwealth Division seem really un... You've got to pick one. Uh, the Guards Armored. Yeah? To me, Guards Armored is just so uninteresting. Like, there's nothing creative or new about it at all. Like, it is literally a copy and paste of all Commonwealth Divisions, essentially, in my eyes. Interesting. Uh, like, it just doesn't do anything interesting like it just is it's just another commonwealth division with the same commonwealth units doing the same commonwealth thing like it doesn't do anything new at all even a little bit it's just boring like it's just a boring division um so yeah I, i'm not i i am in no way i'm not a huge commonwealth guy myself in terms of playing divisions i don't like the way they play now the bren buff definitely helps but i still don't feel like brens are good um, I think people are going to be in for a nasty surprise if they expect to go and like their Bren suddenly slap everything. That's that's not how it wo works, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, that's that's not what Brens are now. Um, they're just not as useless as they were before. Yeah. Yeah, they they aren't a complete joke, but they're still kind of funny. Yeah, they just have um, a. They just seem to like get that extra 
like kill here and there onto infantry units. Like um just like taking an extra man down in a burst rather than Yeah. Like, just doing no and damage. The issue, at all. issue with the Bren is simply um the the Bren um I'm trying to formulate the thought while playing at the same time again. You you are superior <laughs> to me in this respect. The Bren does not have the suppression to beat any other machine gun in the game. That's the issue. Yeah. And yeah, when it comes down to machine guns, suppression matters more. Yeah. Yeah, the, like in yeah, for machine guns all we care about is suppression. Like they yes, they kill things like an MG42 shooting at units in the open kills stuff, certainly. But that's still not why the MG42 is the best LMG in the game. The, it's the best LMG in the game because, simply, it suppresses things the fastest, which means it wins combat against other LMGs the quickest. That's it. That's all it comes down to. So due to the lack of, of the Bren being able to pin things, it's perpetually going to be a meh kind of unit. Like, that's just kind of is what it is, unfortunately, for it. Yeah. And I don't... I think this buff is... I think this is it. Like, if anyone thinks maybe the strike team or Eugene will feel bad and eventually buff the Bren again. I don't think it's happening, guys. I think this is it. I think you're getting your Bren buff. However it ends up being is how it's going to be. Uh, yeah. I, I I mean, I don't think it's like as underwhelming as you kind of, it almost make out to be, but I, I think it's significant enough and it's not too much. I think it's kind of nicely balanced. I do too. I, I'm really happy because I was worried, of course, when they said, oh, we're buffing the Bren, that it was going to be like mm -hmm. every Commonwealth Division is now the ultimate weapon in the universe and you have no chance. Because let's be real. Otherwise, Commonwealth Divisions are pretty good. They have a lot of good tools outside of the Bren. Yeah, the biggest like, problem out. potentially was that they just added like Kagari rifles into the game, right? <laughs> and like. Yes. Then, like you say, announcing that they're going to make them even stronger like it's it's kind of sketchy yeah and so that was definitely my concern about it but that is definitely not did i just lose a unit i did wow and it killed your unit crashing that's cool nice job buddy <laughs> um that's definitely not how they ended up feeling like they still feel meh for the most part like they're better they're they're definitely better oh, okay things are kind of falling apart here for me a little bit uh, i'm not sure what's going on i don't like it um 760th power, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yes, or let's just say it's Maverick income. Because that's what it really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Woo! Wow, it's... that did no damage. That is depressing. I, I would like you to stop doing that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my. Oh my. Hello. <laughs> How you doing there? Yeah, I really wish Ooh, these units had some sort of AT. Well, that AT will work, I guess. Aha! Yeah, there we go, that'll work. <laughs> Flame it to death. Oh no, with the fallback, these guys are still going to take an absolute shellacking. Ouch! Uh, it's out of here. 20 more ammo, so you're lucky. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Face my rap. Wow, but that it the the fallback change you you feel it like it it's it matters like it's not like a small thing. Yep. Like especially when it comes to auto cars and stuff. Um, but yeah, I I I am really happy with where the Bren buff has ended up. Like I do feel they're buffed, but I don't feel like oh my god now this is a Bren world and we're all living in it sort of thing. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could very easily could have been that, but it, they managed to avoid it. Yeah, so credit to the strike team on that one. I mean, that's obviously them making sure they do things right and appreciation in the most extreme levels for that success there. Um, the other changes, I will say, and I said this, what in the heck is that? Oh, it's the Rhein Reihenwerfer thing. Mm -hmm. I've never actually seen it really being used, so that was pretty cool. I will say that was neat. Certainly neat. They never said it been used. <laughs> I mean, that, it killed something, in case you were wondering. Yeah, yeah, I saw her. Yeah, it did It did get a kill, so good good for him. Um, okay, I'm tired of hearing the death sound. You can just stop now, thanks. I've been hearing that the whole game. Oh, okay, good. I thought it was just me. <laughs> <laughs> My poor infantry has just been minced. Oh, that's true. Your, your, your trash infantry just fighting for life here. Yep. 
Especially when it keeps ending up getting surrounded for some reason. <laughs> skills. It's really inconvenient. It's my pure skills. In the middle of the map, finally, in my favor? Thank you. I have like a full squad of infantry in the med that's just like chilling and not affecting the front line. That's because the game has decided you are not worthy of affecting the front line. That is really weird. I think are you it sure might be it's a not a recon unit? Are you no, new it's to a this? Kasakan. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. That's weird. It's, not, it's literally not affecting the front line. It's nice a bug. <laughs> Gotta report that one. I, I would I would definitely report that, yes. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot I have snipers. Alright, yeah, I wouldn't mind using those. That sounds cool. Anyway, oh though you're in the strike team, ah. you can help <laughs> with balancing the game, which is cool. I'm excited. I'm I'm very yeah. excited to do that, yeah. What about that? Like, yeah, are you excited to be in the strike team in that? We should probably talk about that a little bit because it's been a long time coming. Oh, finally have arrived. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, yeah, it's... I mean, I hope it's cool. I, I hope I can do something to positively affect the game. That is, that is, of course, my goal, as it has been for a long time playing this game. I just want to help make the game better. I still, despite its many controversies and complaints, I still think this is the best World War II RTS there is. Okay. Hands down, no question. So anything I can do to improve that experience for people, I hope I'm able to do. See, that's why um, we go on so well, because we are both exactly in the same boat there. Yep, I just, I think this game is fantastic. And yeah, it has its moments. I still think it's in one of the best places it's ever been. Yeah, we got to fix some things right now, but I, I think they're fixable. I don't think anything wrong with the game is unfixable right now. And uh, yeah, it's going to take some work. It's going to, you know, it's not going to be easy. I'm sure Eugene will break something soon enough. But the nice thing is these things can be fixed and I've already heard rumors that the next update will not be nearly as long as this last one was yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know I mean it depends how long it takes this to come out right um we still don't have a release date for this so it's it feels like it's pretty close yeah it does feel like it's close but it just depends this Rheinwerfer thing seems pretty good every time it happens I'm I'm very sad generally speaking it's great for pinning units down. It's not super effective at killing things. It's super effective. The only reason it killed your oh, mate no. was because it was really damaged. Yeah, it was weakened. Yeah, yeah, I know. I recognize that, but still. I'm just like pretending I'm winning when I'm really not. Yeah, I think your trades have been quite bad. So yeah, I think eventually here the rubber's going to meet the road and all of a sudden <laughs> things won't be going so well for you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to fall apart any second. I'm just, I'm just kind of like taking my time here gradually because I know things have gone relatively well for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I think the DLC will be cool. I think the balance changes will be helpful. I'm really hoping because, I mean, if you look at the Steam charts and stuff, it, it's the game was actually doing really well up until we all know when good old Men of Steel came out and the game kind of just takes a nosedive in terms of players. Um, so I'm really hoping that, that this fixes up a little. I'm really hoping the DLC brings some people back to the game. Um, I, I'm going to say the idea to you here because then it'll get out there, but I'm at some point would like to suggest to Eugene that they make the base game a free version of it so that people can get into it for free. And then, you know, if you want to buy DLC, people will because this is a good game. So people will get the DLC. Um, I just think it's on Eugen to get people hooked on it because this game is addicting AF once you start playing it. Yeah, once and you there start game learning it, yeah. Yeah, like once you figure it out, like this game is incredible. Like this is a very in-depth, every game is actually different. Uh, I find like what I love about Steel 2 is every single game I play is completely different. I never feel like rinse, repeat. I never feel like I can use the same exact strategy. I always have to play something different. That's one thing I don't like about a lot of strategy games. It's just like 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 Company Heroes. Let's, let's say Company Heroes. There's a build order. There is yeah. a build order that is better than the other build orders. There is a unit that is always much better than the other units. And there's a way to play that game to win. And if you don't play it that way, you probably aren't winning. Like, that's all there is to it at a high level of competitive play. Yep. Um, I agree. And so that gets boring. Like, I just, to me, that gets really, really boring. While this game, every map, despite their quality, varied and very different quality of maps, <laughs> every map is different right you are forced to play a different strategy on every single map yeah every division is different you're forced to play a different strategy for every division um 
And yeah, there's the micro skills and that kind of stuff. But yeah, these Kozakin are like not really affecting the front line. Do you see this? Yeah. On no, your right flank. 100%. See. They literally like left the front line somehow. I've never seen that happen. Yeah. I'd like to note I'm sitting on 500 points right now. I just thought you should know. Well, I'm not trying to rub it in. Don't but... have to go easy on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sitting on a lot of points. God, ram it, ram it home, ram it home. I have like my destroy line him is just so so bad right now. Like I just got an odd unit of infantry every every which way. It's kind of weird. Like just so many infantry squads are like left with like no men left. Um. So yeah, I, I like that this game is Yugen. I think at some point Yugen should really strongly consider making a free version of the base game, put 20 odd divisions in them, you know, most most of the original div divs and stuff, and letting people actually play the game, and then they can go get more stuff, because people will. I, I know that that's a fact. More people will go buy DLCs, because you want more divisions, you want more variety, you want to s do all the cool stuff that every division has to offer. I think they'll miss a big opportunity if they let this game just die in the vine, because people only buy this on sale anyway. They spend 10 bucks, so you're losing out 10 bucks on people buying the base game. Like, I can't imagine that's killing the bottom line. Like, just make it free. Get people into it, and then this game will continue to, like, grow and be awesome. Yeah, I think um, it could be definitely be an option, like, after Dukla, right, to the, for them to do that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, you know, let them release what will probably be the... And I know I've said this before, but this time I'm pretty confident... Um, you know, let them release what will probably be the last DLC. You know, let them do that. And and then make the base game free so that people can keep getting into it. Like, there's no reason to... There's, there's just no reason to make people pay for the base game. There's so much more to this game than that. And pe just like, I think they should make Hearts of Iron free. Because, like, think of how many DLCs and stuff people would want to buy for that game. Well, they did just make the... Yes. Three DLCs of the DLCs free. free. Yeah, 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 yes. That's pretty big, so that they, Yeah, so that you they can integrate those whatever things the they introduced life, in that yeah. game. Yeah. So, like, I I, I don't see why Eugen can't do that. I, I really don't. I think there's a lot of, like, Eugen's quality of life updates were part of the game for free, right? I think, uh, honestly, in Division there's, like, a ton of free DLC, right? But when you pick up the base game, you actually get a lot of content that's not even part of the base oh, game. Oh, yeah. And is yeah, free and DLC. It's crazy. And it's easy to forget that point, too. Like, if you get give people the game for free, there's a bunch of other things that already come with it. I truly think this game could do so much better if they allow people to play the game for free and rebuild the multiplayer scene. And do it that way. I just think it will. I think it'll be big for it. I, I really do. But we're not there yet. You know, let's get through the whole Dukla Pass update. There'll be for people who keep asking. There will be new maps in that in that uh, that DLC. Although they won't. They'll be free for everyone, right, Vulcan? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're not going to do another finish debacle where the maps were DLC locked. That was really bad. Yeah. That that. I mean, I would say Lessons I understood we'll where they were coming from, but that that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it was a really bad idea. I just feel like they could have done it like the paradox way, where like the host can can use the map and then. Yes. Yeah. That. Um... Yeah. Everybody in the lobby doesn't have to have the DLC to use it, but like if they wanted to make their own lobby and play it, then they'd have that in the DLC. I think that that would have been the best way to do it. Yeah, that probably would have worked just fine. And Panzer Shrek. Oh. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Feel my skills. <laughs> Feel right. my overwhelming well, micro skills. <laughs> it would be about time for me to, to surrender. So, do you want to. No, no, no. I want to crush. Nah, it's got 11 minutes left, man. There's no way. Oh, yes. Sum up what Feel you think about the Feel my balance power. This is what I play balance for, man. This is it. What did you feel about the first one? It feels good. I'm the A phase is rough. I will say that right off the bat. Like A phase feels like a struggle. I mean, maybe you can be for victory this thing. The assault squads did feel very good. Like I thought they would feel kind of meh overall, but they actually felt quite strong overall. Like I was pretty happy with how strong this these units felt. Um, the veteran see on your infantry. At, honestly, did not feel shockingly better. I'm, I'm actually gonna say that I did not feel like wow. All of this veterancy is making my infantry 
absolutely phenomenal. It actually didn't feel that way. And that's why I keep saying to people, I'm not sure Second Panzer is going to be like the absolute nuts that everyone thinks it's going to be. I think it's going to be really good, but veterancy doesn't make your units like more powerful at a base level. It just makes them better from their starting point. Yeah. So I, I mean, this division feels solid. I think it'll be low A tier, maybe right around there, probably. Um, but I don't, this is definitely no broken men of steel S tier crap in any way, shape or form. How's seven sixteen feel? Uh, I mean, as soon as like medium armor comes on the field, there is nothing left to do, right? Uh, the only the only way I can deal with your armor is AT guns at that point, and AT guns are t too static in order to really effectively take care of, especially American tanks which have like the fifty cows which instantly pin the AT guns anyway. So uh, it is it is Aww. an absolute struggle. But nobody expected that division to be super good anyway, so it's you know it's not like. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just think it would have been nice if they gave the Mikado B twos in phase A, because then I could have been like, actually dealing with your mates and uh, and just do it for just a little bit of time, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. That in makes in, sense. in Normandy forty four, the big thing about seven hundred sixteenth, the way they worked was they would have like a, a line of infantry, a line of B2s, and a line of like infantry guns, and you just basically like steamroll it forward slowly but surely. Um, <laughs> whereas in this game, like B2s are obviously not anywhere near as good as they were in Star Division Normally 44, uh, because of the way that the phase locking is not really the case. But basically, without them in this division, it does feel like you're just really getting shafted by light armor all the time. Um, and maybe maybe the way to do it is just like for me to have more Panzer Strikes and spam them around early on or something like that. But it might be a division build thing. Um, but yeah, uh, this is gonna this is gonna be like any of the other kind of worst tier divisions like Nov and um, and name and the Splong, where like you're probably gonna play it for the early mid game, uh, and then after that it's just over, right? Every time. And there's no, yeah. there's, there's only going to be like one way to play this deck it, uh, competitively at least. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure some people will love the crap out of it. I think it's going to be fantastic for RT and team games though. Yes, I will say though, I don't think it has the, um, like, I don't think it has the uniqueness of Unternehmen and stuff. Like, Unternehmen has like really interesting infantry squads and things. I don't think 716th has that interesting of a lineup of infantry. Like, it's disheartened disheartened stuff a lot of it we've seen before yeah it's like a mashup of it pans like panzergren's like the best ish thing you can get i mean get there's some like italian infantry you got the uh and then yeah all of the different disheartened units canal of Arca, marine infantry yeah um, and i feel like like unternehmen really actually dominates at cqc 716 does not at all and they literally can't beat anything at long range. So it's like this like weird, doesn't do much division. Oh, 101st Airborne. That's another division I'm not... I, I love Brando Brothers. I love the theme of 101st. Even after saying I'm not a big theme guy, that division, yes. But that division, I don't think it fits anywhere in the meta. Like, it doesn't have the long range to play long range. It actually doesn't have good CQC, so it can't win CQC fights. It just feels like it's in a really weird spot. Well, it's just... um. First airborne task force without the strong phase BC. Yeah, so like it just, I, I feel like that division's probably going to be a kind of a letdown because I just don't think it does anything that any other division does better. Do you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Oh, I've so got to yeah, do this I before the end. What are you doing? I'm not sure I have time. You have 50 seconds. Acha. Oh, really? Friendly fire my own unit. It's not in range. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, again, like I said, I am very excited for this DLC. I, I, do I think it's going to save the game? The answer is yes. Uh, because I don't think the game is that far off from being fun, like really fun again. Uh, I just think we need to balance out some of those problems. I think I, I, none of these Normandy divisions actually feel like horribly broken. I'm not sure if you have the same feel, but I don't feel like any of them are like, wow, this is so super OP and will ruin the fun of the game. No, maybe the second, but other than that, no. 
I mean, I don't know. Not even the second, though, because, like I say, it's like a Panzer Division. It's not really It's like a Panzer a... Division. That's that's what it is. You're, and you're phase locked out of A, which I don't think is, like, a huge deal, but I do think matters. Um, I, I just... Yeah, I mean... And the thing is, I think it's very easy to fix second if there's a problem with it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like its units are actually insane. It's simply everything's over vet, so they'll just increase the slot prices of some things and make it a horrible deck to build where you barely get any infantry and support tab cost a billion points and you get like one piece of AA. You know, and then boom, it's it's perfectly balanced again. You know what I mean? Um But yeah, nothing feels like, wow, this is awful. This is like totally broke. You know, we could be wrong. I'm if I have to put my money on a division being absolutely ridiculous that we don't see yet, it's DBSAS without a doubt. Cause it's the French division. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the amount of Molotovs in that division is pretty obnoxious. Yes. Exactly. A lot of 15-point infantry. Um, it's very easy for those kind of divisions to be absolutely broke. I do think the Cromwell spam divisions, which one is it? Is it 7th or is it 4th Canadian? It's 7th, right? 7th, thank God. Yeah, yeah, that always has potential to be strong because Cromwell spam especially in the recon. right hand. Yeah, especially like Cromwell spam in the right hands is very solid. Like It's a very viable strategy. Um, so that one definitely has a chance. Second, of course, can be really strong. I think first is very solid, but I don't see it. I don't see how it could possibly be broken. Um, first Panzer, I mean, I don't see how that division is possibly broken, but it can be very strong. Um, ninth is just a solid Panzer division. Gross Petty, I, I think it'll again it'll be a solid division, but nothing crazy. Um, obviously, seven sixteenth is not. 91st Luflanda, almost definitely not. 16th Luftwaffe, definitely not. You know, I mean, it'll be disgusting in 10v10, 16th Luftwaffe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and Bro here, it's it's too phase-locked. Like, it's too painfully phase-locked for this division to be, like, OP. Um, oh, 4th Armored. That one has a chance. That one has a chance of being pretty cracked. Yeah. I forgot about them. Hellcats. Yeah, Hellcat spam. Although I think the nerfs to the Hellcats definitely really helps because when I was building that deck, I was like, "Wow, you actually get a lot less Hellcats, and it feels way less broken at sixty points." Well, the Hellcats they they're not as good in Star Division number forty four as they, or in Star Division two as they were in Normandy forty four because of the way that there are way more units on the map, and so like the Hellcat was a massive force modifier in Star Division number forty four because it could like snipe much more expensive tanks, and there wasn't as many threats for it because it was a le less number of units in total. Whereas yeah. now I feel like it's a lot easier to get your your um, Hellcats called out by like the number of AT guns on the map. And like, or, like there's so much more stuff that can kill it um, in general. And so they're not as good and that light armor holds them back. Yeah, I yeah, I, I don't I don't think fourth armored is broken. It's definitely I think going to be one of the better divisions out of the DLC overall. But I don't, I don't see it being OP. I really don't. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, this is just a better version of 3rd. But you're missing a lot of really good tools in 3rd US, like the Jumbo Wumbo and their 76 mil Shermans and stuff. So I, 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 I'm hesitant to say, wow, that division is going to be absolutely cracked. I really don't think it will be. I think it'll be very good, but definitely not cracked by any stretch. So yeah, again... I, I and I, I I'm really appreciative that the divisions are not absolutely bonkers for once. I mean that's great that Eugen is like, all right, let's just keep these in the realm of what we got right now, and hopefully we can get the other the Men of Steel divisions back into line a little bit. I think the game will be sitting in a good spot. Yeah, and it's I not, think the it's not a power ahead. creeped division um, or a DLC uh, this time no. around, which is nice to see. As I said, some of the some of the divisions, in my opinion, like five out of the 14 are kind of like underwhelming um, in terms of like overall flavor and what they could have done with the divisions kind of well short. But there's there's a lot of things they can do to kind of retroactively fix that. So, you know, since they made some extra changes, added the extra units to the 716, like the Werf Diamond and the Lion Werfer, I think those definitely help out the division um, quite a bit, actually. Um, and if they can continue making little changes like that, then some of these divisions that currently look quite underwhelming might eventually be up to the same power as divisions we already have in the game, which would be really nice. Yeah, totally agree. And I think the fallback nerf is going to really change the feel of the game and hopefully reduce the infantry meta domination and make it a little bit more 
more units can actually be successful, right? Bombing strikes will work, you know, and we saw it in the game we just played. Like, units die even if they're falling back, which is a good change. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. Good game, by the way. That was a fun one. Yeah, GG, man. <laughs> Killing off hordes of German disheartened units. <laughs> good times, good times. My semi-automatic power. You want to leave it there, then? the video yeah sounds good all right well that's it from us then hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>